guys, I'm back again with another video. This week we're going to be checking out my unique blaze farm powered by magma cubes. So, this facility in front of us actually is fully powered by magma cubes, which which makes it quite unique. It's definitely a different different type of blaze farm we've got here. So, in front of us we have a dual blaze spawner setup. As you can see, there is cell A and cell B in front of us. It's not the nicest looking farm, but wow, it sure pumps out quite a lot of blazes and it's very unique in design. So anyway, I'm just going to show you guys around, show you how it works, explain from the top to the bottom, all that good stuff. So let's jump right into it, shall we? If you're enjoying the video, don't forget to slap a like on it. It does help a fella out. All right, so we are standing in the lobby here, and as you may notice right off the bat, there's levers, and there's a there's a uh, magma cube going right round and around and around. This is actually the compression chamber of the farm, which I'll explain how it all works shortly. But there is a named magma cube in a minecart spinning it around and around and around. I don't actually have any um, any blocks on me to build myself up, but if I jump here, you can see he's spinning around and around on a mine uh, on a minecart track. And um, what he's actually doing is he's, he's going to compress blazes against the glass and spin them around and then pop them out into a single uh, tube here and that drops down. And we also got the second spawner doing the, exactly the same thing. And I nicknamed it the compression chamber. So it doesn't matter where a blaze falls down here in the chamber. He'll get he'll he'll hit the packed ice and this magma bob here, well, well magma cube, we just call them hot bobs because that's what they're named as, um, will actually spin them against the glass and push them right out the cell, which is quite unique. It's actually quite awesome. So they don't really spawn in the compression chamber here. They actually spawn upstairs. So I'll take you upstairs really quickly. So up we go. So as you can see, we've got we've also got another compression chamber over here, which is smaller than the larger chambers. So as you can see, we've got another magma cube going round and round and round in circles, and anything that spawns on the packed ice here will actually get pushed into the center, down to the compression chamber. This is a five by five um, packed ice area where they can where all the blazers can actually spawn on the um, on the pad, which is quite good. So you can see they are they actually spawning now which is fantastic. So eventually they'll actually get spun into the middle. It's not a straight off the bat, see? We just got one just dropped down there. It's, it's all sorts of craziness. See, it's dropping down, which is fantastic. It's spawning like crazy right now. So if we come down here real quick, see? They get they, they get knocked down in the compression chamber and, and uh, this other magma cube here will do the job of um, pushing them against the glass and spitting them out, spitting them outside. Just imagine a blender with a hole in it. There you go. So as you can see, there's more, there's blazers coming down the hole here. This is from the second compression chamber. So we've got, as you said, we've got two compression chambers, which is quite cool. Um, two, see, look at that, straight out, which is, is that is so awesome. And just he just gets spun right out. And he goes down to a crushing area where we can kill them for XP and crush them and so forth. Now, these levers, you're probably wondering, what do these levers do? So these levers actually, one of them sends the bob to a store, well, the, we'll call them hot bobs, but once we, we send the magma cube to a storage pen, allowing us to, you know, do maintenance or whatever, and then we can send them back. That's all those do. We can all, it also allows us to switch the track if necessary, so if this, if this uh, magma cube is spinning the wrong way, yes, it must be spinning the right way. If it is spinning the wrong way, it will. Um, we can all. We can just switch it, send it up there, and send him back. That's pretty much how easy it is. Look, look at this. Look at this. It's working extremely well. Oh, straight out there, spins around. Oh. <laughs> how awesome is that? Very unique. Very simple design. Now the bottom one here, as you can see, is not quite big. It's a, it's only a three by three and there is glass on the where the track is so they can't spawn on the track as you can see in there they can't really get stuck on the track there oh, this guy might be stuck he'll eventually get spun out i'm not too worried about that when a friend comes in he'll knock him down and knock him back to size but uh but it works extremely well for this blaze farm very simple actually it'd be very server friendly too if you know what i mean back here is just pretty much redstone you don't really get to see the guts and everything chest full of stuff when I was building 
the actual farm here. Back here is where we hold, as I was saying, holding the magma cubes and changing what directions they spin in, etc, etc. No big deal. If you want, if you want to see that, look, we can we can hit that button there. It will it will it will send a piston out there. We can even hit that button there. It will send Bob up there, store him in there, and we can literally just send him back. Oh, oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. Sometimes they do actually get stuck here in the piston area of things. We need to actually go free him. It's a, it's a bug. So he needs to see us. And go, oh, there. Off he goes again. So sometimes the Bob, he will actually point himself in a direction and get himself uh, not really stuck. He, like, makes the Minecraft minecart not move. So he has to detect a player to start moving again, which, which sucks. You can't really overwrite that. There's nothing I can do about that. That's like a little bug in the system. You don't really need that stuff out the back. As I, as I said to the fans when I was building the, this this farm here, as I said to the fans when I was building this farm, it's it was an optional extra that we built. It was not necessary. Usually they spin in the right direction anyway. So, as you guys seen before, standing up here is probably the the best bet the, for the spawn the the top spawn to be mostly active as well. And as you can see, look, this compression chamber works exactly the same. Spins them around, spins them out, drops them down. Can we see that real quick? Drops them down the tube. See, they're both connected quite nicely. All right. Let's keep going down the tube here. And this down here is where the tube ends up. Sorry about the noise. Right here, there's a metric butt ton of them. So we're in a, we've got heavily half slab, so you know things don't spawn in on us and kill us and all that craziness. So all to do, all we've got to do is pretty much press the button. It will crush them very loud. I do apologize once again. Very, very loud. So it crushes them down to a certain amount of health, and sometimes it's one or two shot. Boom. Boom. And we get all that nice, lovely XP. I'm not really after the XP, to be honest, guys, because as my, most of my fans know, I do have a massive XP farm that uh, works way better than this. I really needed just the blaze rods. That's what this facility is mainly for, is the blaze rods. So if we continue down, this is just crafting tables and repairs and stuff. So if we continue right down, this will be this little baby storage area that I've got going in. This is pretty much where all the uh, blaze rods come flying into. And I did, um, I did build a uh, enchanting table out in the back here with some more storage. I plan to, you know, bring over some diamonds and stuff so we can make pegs and repair stuff. So we got a little little area out the back here to pretty much enchant and do all that good stuff with. Um, yeah, it's it, it's a baby facility, but it, man, she works well. She works well. It doesn't take long to build up build up mobs here at all. As I said, you'll be standing closer to the spawners, the better. Um, when it comes to it so if we go all the way up here there's only one in there at the moment this farm's not active but if we come back down here we stand a, we stand a roughly about here i noticed we seem to get good rates standing a bit high is good too but we don't have any protection where we're standing right now is just a, a nice sealed area because you as you guys know you guys know the nether the nether is nasty full of nasty so you've got to stay protected in here so the farm does actually get up and go when it wants to holy smokes you're, you're, you're definitely look i got 47 levels and that's just mainly for testing the farm <laughs> which is quite cool now if you want to know how to build this farm i recommend recommending recommend you guys to check out my let's play series we built this from scratch we got the, the, the magma cubes in the minecarts and named them and had problems keeping them and oh it was very fiddly but very rewarding. Absolutely bloomin' rewarding at the end of the day. As I said, very unique farm, very it'll be very server friendly, not you know. Normally these blaze farms people have met like pistons going off or all these sweeping floors and there's lots of designs out there but this one is definitely very unique well i thought it was very unique anyway especially this compression chamber that compresses them down into a one by one tube this will probably be good for actual normal mod farms too guys by the way i will be doing further testing with normal mod farms in the future with this design also probably overworld skelly and zombie farms as well same thing same thing i'm pretty confident that this will be work very well to push them down a one by one tube <laughs> I love it absolutely love this farm it's awesome 
All right, I think we're going to call it here. As I said at the beginning, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to smash those buttons. I will uh, offer a world download, so you can run out here yourself and, and actually check out uh, what I've done here and um, you know play around with it yourself if you really, really want to. Um, if if you run out here and the blaze in the, the the cubes are actually stationary, but the minecart's going around, that is a that's a visual glitch, by the way. That's it. That come with Minecraft 1.9, by the way. So don't stress. Just log out, log back in, and it will fix it for you. So yeah, I'll probably have to build a safe chamber up here because it seems to be you get I get better spawns standing up here from that spawner and that spawn too. So I'm more testing where the best spot to stand for this farm to be a hundred percent. Um, also, I might note before I, before I leave you guys, is it is actually b built, we actually, cle I cleared out quite a lot of a, a fortress here, see, as you can see, that was a connecting fortress, and I built it in a giant leg, so this is one of the legs of the fortress, see one of those legs over there, yeah, this was one of those legs of the fortress, which the Blaze Farm is built in, which is quite cool. Alright guys, um, oh, thanks for watching this video, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to smash those buttons, and I'll catch us all later!